pronounce. You don't listen to me. This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up, my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. What go on, my people? Hope everybody in okay. Hope everybody in all right. Just stop what you are doing for a second and give the Lord a praise. Thank him for health, strength, and life. You understand? Me have to tell you that, you know, because sometimes I know you forgot, you know. Only thing when I run for come listen to the review, I forgot so you can give thanks for life. Wally if I think I go on the newspaper, Wally if I, Wally if I, Wally if I, something I don't know, so I'm telling already. Ball to ball, come and chip on this ends. So make I start down at town. You oh, never hear that one, yeah. So make I give on it right now. A woman was shot dead on Thursday in downtown Kingston. She has been identified as 41 year old Nicola Grant, a hairdresser of Kingston 11. Investigators report that at about 5.50 p.m. Miss Grant was at the intersection of Beckford Street and Matthews Lane when a man drove upon a motorcycle and shot her several times. The police has not yet established a motive for the attack. Only she and the man who kill her know that. And her combo lost them. Nobody feel like semi me left for no tight cow. They know all of the mix up enough for them women are involved in her. Anyway, the guy gave you no more news. Three men were taken into custody following the seizure of an illegal firearm and ammunition by the police in Cooley Town, Hayes Clarendon, Hollande. The police, them know some of them go certain here and them box certain boy with gun. And that, every time me tell you the DTI say to you, no box some of them boy in a certain community. You understand? Because them now no change and change. Them are going to go behind bars, plead guilty and get a little discount and come out back and just go back to the life of God. The police report that at about 4.30 p.m. on Thursday afternoon, a team acting on intelligence search a Toyota Probox motor car and discover a 9mm pistol in the trunk of the vehicle. A magazine containing 15 9mm rounds was also seized. Deputy Superintendent of Police down on the side there. Antoine Cardoza, head of operation of the Clarendon Police Division, is calling for residents to partner with the police to curtail crime in the parish. Remember, enough of the residents down there are thief and criminal themselves. So, them not help you. The only way you can not help you yourself is slap them and want to find them. I am appealing to our citizens to let us know about any illegal or suspicious activity within your community. The weapon of choice for most of these murders in the parish is the gun. I believe that the more guns taken off the streets, our murder figures should be significantly reduced. Well, and then those big four full cardos, I'm going to tell you something. Who not go about this the wrong way? So you take two guns off of the streets and you put two boys behind bars. Remember, say them know if you come out and get back illegal gun, you know. And somebody see them police them. Yes, somebody see them police them. Nobody feel like say, me not have a call or not. See them police them a thief, but they go out of evidence and give back them criminal friend. Say what I said that I mean, what I said that I don't know me not take you back already. Me not put my mouth and talk. A serious thing. The people have been saying it. You understand? So, if you no slap them, you know? The sellers, them now have no buyers. But when you don't turn them behind bars, the sellers just so wait for you to let them out back because they know, say, right at them foot, them are come, come buy gun. Anyways, I can continue. As of October 30, Clarendon recorded a total of 83 murders, which is an increase when compared to the corresponding period last year. A total of 60 shootings were recorded during the period. Anyway, now, people, I can give you this piece of news and write out of St. Catherine. Twice Meadows to be exact. The police say a man who was arrested in Toy Meadows in St. Catherine on Wednesday following the siege of 150 assaulted rounds of ammunition posed a serious threat to national security. So we'll learn the now. Why do you never snap me? Since you know all Zadis and come, come tell me, why do you never just slap him away? Said what I said, paper serious, you know. Remember, in the second play, guilty for the whole 150 because of him on. Get a little discount and come out back. And him know which path he buy it. Him know who will sell it. Him know go tell you the information there, you know. So, no, see, see, I waste you now, I waste you no time. Every single day, me come and me tell you the same thing. The police told our news team that the man has been a major supplier of guns and ammo to criminal gangs in the St. Catherine space. Hold on a minute. Me come and talk to the deputy superintendent because I don't want to know feel like I make me a make up my news, you know. This gentleman sells toilet tissues and wear a company logo on his t-shirt 
goes around pretending to be conducting instrument business, but is basically one of the major suppliers of guns and ammunition to our gangs in St. Catherine. The ammunition and weapons that he deals with, the point trade ammunition, trade ammunition is more utilized by the hitmen because they leave no trace behind as a speak to special. The point three four zero cartridge, it has a great impact when it hits a target. And also the weapons that we have realized that he sells are special weapons. So this man is a serious and dangerous man to the, the country of Jamaica. Every day I come and I tell you so the police them now and I send so nothing can joke me and me. People don't see it clearly for themselves now. So tell me now, this man is a threat to Jamaica. I only not slap him away. Look at it now, people. He might go behind bars and he might go run the program from behind bars. Remember, I'm still having contacts them out there. So he might say, yo, John Doe, yo, Jane, yo, Janet, go and go link Ray and Ray around there, so and collect them and go and push them through. Go and sell them to all of the gang members them. So tell me now, how is it on a self crime? On a sissy a waste, on a waste tax based time and money. If on a strap him, why not? And I'm alone, they know the supplier. Nobody else now go know. You understand? Because me, I don't know what say him now. Go tell him what go on. Or who he might get it from. I don't know that already. So police, all you need for do is just do the right thing. Anyway, no paper before me tell them about the 18 year old get slapped with. Because I go down at your land and go go for no this news. The Chinali police has commenced an investigation to the circumstances surrounding Thursday night death of a three month old baby boy at his home in Troy district in Chilani. The dead child, who has been identified as Ian Omari Scott, has had tongue waggling in the rural community as it has been rumored that his death is linked to an activity carried out inside the house to prevent evil spirit from entering the house tell them about them people who believe in a witchcraft you know according to the children the police they received a report that last Thursday the child was at home with his mother and other family members when the mother left him lying on the bed and went to the bathroom upon her return the mother noted that the child was lying motionless and she raised an alarm other family members rushed to the mother's assistant following their faith efforts to revive the child they summoned the police who visit the home and found the child who appeared to be lifeless with the assistance of the police the child was transported to hospital where he was pronounced dead dead by them for punk up the still people must tell you exactly where they might tell me the body was removed to the morgue where a post-mortem examination is expected to be done to determine the cause of death the police stated that while they have no reason to suspect foul play they have been hearing rumors in the community and you know people in the community stay already once them talk if i know so it's close to so that the parents are engaged in an activity that could have harmed the child Hence the decision to conduct a full investigation including requesting an autopsy. We are hearing rumors and allegations but for now we cannot point any fingers. We will just have to wait on the autopsy report then we will know where to take our investigation from there. That's what the police say. So far we have learned from the family that the child was not diagnosed with any kind of sickness and that the mother only left him alone for a few minutes. So his death, yes people, cannot be treated as just natural. It cannot be treated as suspicious until after the post-mortem examination, the police say. So cut a long story short now. Make I tell where the residents them officer according to the residents a relative of the child's mother died recently and was buried in the yard and it was that situation which sparked the decision to burn incest in the house so the people in the community are making no side the incest wouldn't suffocate the picnic you understand but the relative of the child yes the deceased i say yo not no go so you understand but the only self people the autopsy come out me i'm gonna make me exactly where really kill the picnic ball to ball come and show me get pan this ends remember that me always telling you no people me always giving the news when i come for the news you understand that's why we don't run down the breaking news hold on the now my paper right back down a chill on him again albert town to be exact and we have a video for show the people them for over see the video Three boys up on the road, but them are all off car and can just drive up. Bam, 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 bam. One of them gets slapped. I we have him on the ground here down in a white shirt so he can come, come see the picture and he can come, come see the video. You might have two friends, them run off left him. You understand? We don't know if them get shot. But all three of them could have pronounced it on my paper. Me I tell them the truth so they just come, come look and see exactly what I'm going. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell another friend, come, come check us out. And I can guarantee you, we're not going to hear some more people that don't have You understand? We're feeding on the next review.